Welcome to this RMS video where we're going to show you how to set up alarms on the measurement points. So once you set up an alarm on a measurement point, as you can see here in the bottom right hand part of the screen, you'll see the alarm bands for both warnings and for the alarms. As here the measurement point is located between the alarm bands, there are no warnings as we can see at the top and no alarms. I'll show you now how to do this on the relative humidity side. So if we click on Tools, Setup, we click here on Measurement Point, and we click now on the humidity level. So on the right hand side I see all the information, and now I can choose to set up an alarm via Measuring Point or Alarm Scheme. This video will show you how to do it via the measuring point. I click on measuring point and I can see I have two options, one is warning and one is alarm. First and foremost I have to enable both the warning and the alarm. And now I will set the warning levels. So we were reading roughly 20% relative humidity. So in order to show you how this works I will set up a warning level just uh, low 10% RH and the upper limit at 20% RH. I can set as well a hysteresis and a delay. And on the alarm level, I will set the alarm at 8% relative humidity and 22% relative humidity. And then I can choose either notification settings. Please see the RMS video about notification settings uh, to understand this function or I can choose a single user by clicking on single user, edit, and I can choose here either James or Mike Brown. I can here choose James and I can put down email. I click on OK, I click on save, and then now I will head back to my chart to see what this has done. So we're now reading on this uh, relative humidity and temperature logger 23 degrees Celsius and 19% relative humidity. So now we wait for an update of the system. At the same time, I will actively add relative humidity to the sensor to ensure that it goes into alarm mode. We then have to wait for one minute, time for the uh, update of the logger to reach the system. Within the table view, we have the possibility to see when the last refresh was. And this constantly updates, so we'll be able to see when the device has been refreshed. So we see straight away here, it's been refreshed 10 seconds ago and there is a measurement value alarm. We see here the red dot that pops up, we see in the groups the red dot that pops up, and we also see here on the top of the screen one warning and one alarm popped up. I can click on the chart and I can zoom in to this area of the chart. I can see my alarm bands have arrived and I can also see my warning and my alarm have been set off. So I'll put the data logger back down and now via here I can, I have various options, I can click on the red dot here and I can inhibit the alarm, writing down a message that will be put into your audit trail, and I can inhibit for a certain time span. I also have the possibility to click directly on alarm at the top. Okay, it's gone out of alarm now, so there is no more alarm in the system. But I would also have the possibility to click on the alarms. This will send me to the event file, and if I also click here on finished events, time for it to upload, I can see that at 8.18.01 a.m. 
an event 1053629 was created and it was a measured value out of limit. I can see the target and I can see the details. I can simply click on this event to find out more information and I can also acknowledge the alarm. Click on acknowledge, I can enter test for video. Excuse me, test for video tutorial. I click on OK and we see an acknowledgement that today James wrote down that this was a test for video tutorial. Heading back to my chart, I can now see all of the information, no more alarms, no more warnings. Okay, thank you very much for watching.